Toronto's Mayor Rob Ford is brushing off the latest allegation that he tried to buy that now infamous crack video. His only comment today was to an American sports radio show in Washington. He called it an outright lie. But as Jennifer Tryon reports, city councillors aren't letting him off the hook. Guys, sorry. Oh, come on. A familiar ruckus at City Hall. Okay. Ridiculous. Where's security? Is there any security? Right here. And a familiar answer. The only media Ford would talk to was an American sports radio station, and he was supposed to be talking football. These are wiretaps from gang members who say that you offered $5,000, if not more, $150,000 in a car to confiscate the video of you doing crack. Number one, uh, um, that's an outright lie. And number two, you can talk to my lawyers about it. But I'm here to talk football, guys. So if you want to talk football, I'll talk football. If you want to talk about other things, then okay, unfortunately, I can, I'm going to have to let I you know. Ford spent the day in an executive committee meeting. No longer at the helm, he sat to the side like the other councillors. I'd like to speak. I think we should go ahead with this island airport. But council instead decided to wait, leaving the mayor in the meeting acting more like a kid in detention, with virtually no power to push his agenda. If he's had any relationship at all with these kinds of uh, gang bangers, uh, then there are individuals here, including myself, that, uh, that just will not want anything to do with him. The documents allege a disturbing political influence over the Dixon Bloods, an alleged Toronto street gang. On wiretap, police say the mayor lost his phone one drugged out night in April at this crack house, and a call and a threat were allegedly made that night. Lisi threatened that if he did not get the phone back, that the mayor would bring heat on Dixon. If there were evidence that he was speaking on behalf of Mayor Ford and making that threat, uh, that could very well make out uh, an extortion charge against uh, Ford. This criminal lawyer says during surveillance, police should have moved on Ford. Now it's too late. These police sat and watched the evidence slip through their fingers and took no evidence, took no samples, did nothing. And that's why they can't charge him today. And I find that decision inexplicable. If it was a black 20-year-old, that guy would have been arrested. It's that easy. We are absolutely satisfied that we can justify and explain why we've done what we've done. But there were 220 charges laid against 44 other people. Granted, many for drug trafficking, but there were smaller charges like conspiracy to commit an indictable offense. Many say Ford got off easy with just his reduced role at City Hall. Donna. All right, Jen Tryon in Toronto again. Thanks.